Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you're watching this video, that means you picked the ghost for your trash panda treasure box. So what have we got? We have all of these. <laughs> you will have a cup of starch. You should have orange construction paper that's kind of been folded, some pipe cleaners. This is called cheese cloth and there should actually be two sheets of it. So make sure to check that and a balloon. You should also have a playing card with a piece of tape on it. And what we're gonna do is blow up that balloon and you kind of want to make sure that it's round on the top. So if you have a little bit of like, I have this part that's kind of poking out in a way I don't like. So I'm just going to kind of massage around the balloon until it gets more of a round shape. Just stretch out that plastic because that's going to be the top of your ghost head. So you want it to be pretty circular. Go ahead and take your construction paper and you'll fold it into kind of an open square and use that tape to go ahead and, and hold that shut. And then we're just gonna place the balloon right on the top. So here comes my tape. We're basically making a 3D structure out of a two dimensional object, which is pretty cool. Fold that over right there. So now we have our square shape, which should be just big enough for you to kind of put your balloon in. This one's a little taller than I want it to be, so I'm gonna cut a little bit off. I want some of my cheesecloth to kind of drape on the ground like, like, the, like a ghost. Okay. And basically what you wanna do is you're just gonna drape your cheesecloth over the top like that after you have completely saturated it in that starch. And like I said, I want those to be kind of dragging on the table a little bit. So I have a container and I'm going to take my starch and I'm going to empty it in there. And then I'm going to take that cheesecloth. I'm going to completely soak it in the starch and then drape it over the top of my balloon construction paper thing. I chose not to use my pipe cleaners. You can put them on either side of that paper so that your ghost sort of has arms and looks like it's reaching. I just chose not to. You're going to let that dry overnight. And once you do, that starch should maintain its shape even if you take out the construction paper and the balloon. That cheesecloth is going to stay just like you formed it. I've got to kind of work my fingers in between the cheesecloth and the balloon here because the starch is going to stick to the balloon a little bit. But as long as you go slow and are kind of careful, you should be able to take that balloon right out and your ghost will keep its shape. That's what it looks like with one piece of cheesecloth. You can put eyes on there, do whatever you want. I'm going to put it back on and put another piece of cheesecloth on the top because I want my ghost to be a little bit thicker. But you can pick if you would rather have two ghosts instead of one slightly thicker one. I have put my cheesecloth, my second piece of cheesecloth, in what's left of the starch, soak up as much of that as I can. And I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did the first time, unfold it and drape it over the balloon. And again, let it dry overnight. And here we go. I have removed my balloon and my construction paper after letting it dry overnight. And as you can see, I have a pretty good ghost shape. There you go, cheesecloth ghost.